and we've reached the end, people. This chapter, it almost feels as though it signifies the end of Naruto. They defeated the last major villain that they had, Kaguya Utsutsuki, and it's like, is this the end? So, I mean, the chapter opens up with Naruto and Sasuke doing a combo Chibaku Tensei to seal up Kaguya. Now, to be honest with you, with Kaguya seemingly being defeated, and it's not even seemingly, basically she was sealed up in this chapter, and it was the end of her, it kind of makes me have somewhat of mixed feelings about Kaguya because she had incredible strength. She could throw you into different dimensions, ultimately fuck you up any which way. But to be honest with you, she didn't have that much of a strong impact. The one thing that she did do is take out Obito and Obito had an expiration date on him as well. So it wasn't really like, you know, she took out somebody that was like in their prime or something like she killed Sakura or Kakashi or some shit like that. I mean, I mean, she did push them to the limits, Naruto and Sasuke and kind of, you know, gave them a run for the money. But ultimately, as far as impact goes and the amount of time that she was around, she was only around for, you know, what, a handful of chapters, maybe 10, 15 at the most. And her impact with this chapter really shows that this was more so Naruto and Sasuke dealing with Hagoromo's trauma from the past. And this was more so his old score that he never really settled and kind of like, you know, came back at the last minute to fuck with everybody. And also getting that flashback of her children, how they sealed her up and then seeing Naruto and Sasuke, it was inevitable. But again, really, this chapter just made me think, how much did really Kaguya succeed with? I mean, at the end of the day, once again, this kind of goes back to Madara versus Kaguya. I feel as though Madara achieved way more. And ultimately, I'm so glad that in this chapter, we see him return. He's there on the floor now. He looks like he's fucked up and he probably can't move. So I doubt he's going to be up to any villainous ways, if at all, anytime soon. But ultimately, I'm glad Madara's back at the very least. And I feel like this chapter really just was wrapping up so many different things very quickly. You got all the tail beasts separated again. The ten tails is no more. You got Kaguya's death or ceiling, so to speak. She's gone. And then Naruto dealt with Black Zetsu as well, which... This also makes me feel like Black Zetsu, while he did all these things, ultimately, when it came time for combat or anything, him and his mother got their asses kicked. Black Zetsu was, I guess, on some Rugrats shit. And it was really just a mama's boy that basically wanted him and his mama to take over and shit. And I like how Naruto dealt with him, just throwing him up into the Chibaku Tensei, like, you're a fucking piece of shit. At the end of the day, between, of course, Kaguya and Black Zetsu, while Black Zetsu, you know, he changed everything around throughout time. Ultimately, Kaguya at least had the power. But again, Kaguya wasn't really, like, a huge impact to the story in a sense of, like, making major deaths or moving things in a crazy way. And I'm curious why Hagoromo needed to bring back all the Kage just to bring them to this dimension. Was it that he needed help to take down the Senju Tree as well? Because other than that, it's like, was he that weak at this particular point? It makes me wonder why bring them all back other than for just, like, fan service. And honestly, seeing this chapter, it just really felt like some sort of addendum and it kind of really is saddening because from the looks of it it's like we might not have that much longer i mean we still have some questions that need to be answered like right now with Madara's return and he's 100 percent alive what's going to happen with him is he going to say i'm turning over a new leaf is he going to get back up and say yo i'm ready to fight again so we still have a couple of questions to ask also orochimaru when he comes back when we see him you know from the senju tree is he going to come and say you know oh, i'm good and then try to fuck people over because there's still a lot of mysteries regarding certain characters and their motives because to this day, Orochimaru, is he really good? And I mean, at this point, it's just really making me think, so what now? I'm guessing from where this chapter left off, ultimately, with Hagoromo saying thank you for saving the world and shit, what we have left is basically some goodbyes, seeing if Madara's gonna go back to it, because at the end of the day, I've never seen a Naruto them imprison somebody, so this isn't the complete ending from Madara Uchiha, as far as, like, if you're gonna say, yes, cuff them, boys, like, there's going to be something big after this with Madara, I guarantee it. Whether it be evil or good or some self-destruct kamikaze shit, Madara's going to do something. And I guess we got to go back to the subject of the next Hokage. I mean, at the end of the day, a lot of people are going to be looking at Tsunade as well as, like, yo, as your reign of Hokage, look what happened. And you had no participation in the defeating of Kagyo Tsutsuki, Madara Uchiha, Obito Uchiha, the Jubi. You did nothing. So I think at this point, she should voluntarily say, yo, I'm done with being Hokage, I'll give it to somebody else. I don't know, maybe some Hokage tournament? But ultimately, this chapter, it really just signified the end, and I mean, unless we have another arc for the Hokage or something, Naruto's ending, like, really soon, seemingly. I thought that this fight was gonna last a bit longer, and Kaguya was gonna do some more things, so in that aspect, I'm disappointed in 
what Kaguya didn't do, not in Kaguya herself, because she actually had some, you know, she was incredibly fucking strong, stronger than Madara, but that's really my take as far as Kaguya Tsutsuki as of right now, and Black Zetsu, aka Chuck D. Finster. But overall, good chapter, very quick as far as, like, wrapping a lot of things up with the Tail Beast splitting up, you know, Hagoromo bringing them back, a lot of shit happened in this chapter, so definitely a good one this week, I'm gonna give it 7.5 out of 10, ultimately, it's like, I'm just curious what the hell is going to happen next. Who's going to make the next move? But let me know what you guys think, first of all, regarding Kaguya Tsutsuki getting sealed in this chapter. Do you feel as though her impact and basically her presence in the series, do you think it was unnecessary to a certain degree that maybe, like, she really didn't even need to be here? It was kind of almost as if she was filler in a way because aside from taking out Obito, who was dying anyway, she really didn't have that big of an impact compared to, like, Madara. And your overall thoughts of what seemingly is very soon the end of Naruto. But that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, if you could do so as well, that would be awesome. I'm Fanel World, and as always, people, have an awesome day.